an e-bike is being produced by Polestar. Nevertheless, Engelet said he's aware of how it appears when a company that makes cars veers into the bike lane. In a recent interview with The Verge, Polestar CEO Thomas Engelet confirmed that the company was working on a battery-powered two-wheeler with Sweden's Ella Bike, with whom it had previously worked on a Polestar-branded non-electric mountain bike. In an interview, Engelet stated, I've always loathed that marketing gimmick of buying a bike and then putting your brand on it. Engelat is right to be skeptical. When you hear about automakers launching their own electric motorcycles, it's frequently just a brand licensing arrangement. Consider the e-bike from Jeep, the Hummer bikes from a decade ago, or the most recent e-bikes from Hummer. Other times, a highly anticipated project, like General Motors' Arif e-bikes, is abandoned due to corporate cost-cutting. First e-bike from Polestar won't be a licensing arrangement. Engelat said that he admires the way that bikers, engineers, fight for each and every gram when designing a frame that can withstand the pressures of cycling while holding all the components. Pointing to the mountain bike that Polestar made with Ella Bike and noting that frame is actually our own frame. He continued, So sure, that's something we're looking into. Not only Polestar, but other automakers believe that e-bikes have promise. The Sport and the Cross are two expensive, full-suspension electric mountain bikes that Porsche recently revealed. The Croatian e-bike business Grip and the e-bike powertrain manufacturer Fazue, which specializes in lightweight motors, were both acquired by the German automaker in recent months. Along with its futuristic-looking electric scooter, BMW has also unveiled two cool-looking e-bike ideas. A trademark application for a new line of e-bikes from Rivian has also been submitted. Along with partnering with Alibike, Polestar also collaborated with the Swedish business Cake to create a customized version of the Makamokt. The two companies described the idea as a new and unique electric mobility bundle that combines the inner city comfort of the Cake Maka with the all around road capabilities of the Polestar 2, and included images showing Cake's mopped mounted on a rack behind a Polestar 2 vehicle. Similar terminology will likely be used by Polestar to sell its new e bike. According to Engelav, I'm absolutely for the multiplicity of mobility. We obviously need automobiles, therefore, I detest it when people say things like, oh, we don't need cars, I adore having a car. I would prefer not to use it every day though, I want to be able to utilize it whenever I want. The bus, the bicycle or any other mode of transportation he continued, blend it up. The most interesting aspect of Engelat's confirmation of Polestar's decision to focus on e-mics may not even be that decision, rather, it is the company's strategy for achieving its e-bike goals. Unlike other well-known companies, Polestar intends to participate in the design and production of the e-bike rather than just licensing the use of its name. According to The Verge, Polestar created the frame for its prior partnership with Ellibike. Engelat stated the following to the publication, I always detested that brand on a bike marketing gimmick, said the author. Engelat is correct. Despite entering the e-mobility market, corporations like Jeep and Bugatti have only drove so in name. Both businesses' e-scooters just include their branding. The actual scooter manufacturing is outscored to more reputable businesses. It's true that Polestar doesn't presently have the brand awareness to sell e-bikes based only on its branding, but it's still good to see a company have stakes in the game. Polestar has dealt with e-bikes before. The automaker and Cake previously collaborated to create a Polestar version of the high-end Maka bike. The results are really cool, and the use of Polestar's battery to power the Maka while it is being towed behind a vehicle on a specially made tow bar mount. The decision to test the e-bike industry also demonstrates how large of a market electric mobility has grown to be. E-bikes completely replace car travel as a mode of transportation. I've tested a high-end e-bike, the Super 73Z Miami, so I can attest to how opulent they can be. It's obvious that EV manufacturers have seen a market opportunity in the e-mobility sector, with the support of battery technology and manufacturing know-how, it is a logical step for an EV company. Others outside startups like Polestar are also interested in e-mobility. It's a very exciting effect. Established automakers like BMW have launched their own initiatives. Like it or not, BMW's CE04 Mopt has a daring design. The first bike from Polestar won't be available until later. For the time being, we can only hope that its brief encounter with Cake and their stylish variety of feature-rich e-bikes has had a positive effect. We now largely recognize that electric vehicles are the side option for achieving sustainable mobility, 
electric vehicles have a chance to provide us with the same, if not superior, mode of transportation to that provided by their internal combustion counterparts. Electric vehicles, though, aren't the sole solution. Urban areas all around the world are increasingly transitioning to more compact models of transportation, including electric motorbikes, scooters, and e-bikes. In fact, the combination of electric automobiles for the motorways and electric two-wheelers for city transportation appears to be the way of the future for transportation. In recent years, a large number of automobile manufacturers have expanded into the electric two-wheeler market. We have seen it with companies like BMW and their cutting-edge electric bikes made for urban and recreational use. Porsche is also paving the way for e-bikes with its several e-bike-focused projects, such as the most recent Fazua acquisition. Heck, even the motorcycle industry has jumped on the e-bike bandwagon, with Yamaha developing a line of e-bikes with a focus on performance. Dugati has essentially done the same thing. Polestar, a Swedish electric car manufacturer, is one of the most recent to announce its intention to enter the e-bike market. The brand will join forces with its current partner, Alibike, to enter the quickly expanding e-bike market, according to Thomas Engelath, the company's CEO. Polestar is steadfast in its commitment to taking a far more hands-on approach in the design of the future e-bike. In contrast to other brands that outsource the production of their bikes and simply plaster their branding onto the finished product. The bike's specifications haven't even been released yet, but Polestar is one of Europe's largest manufacturers of electric vehicles. So, it will be interesting to see what the two companies come up with for the micromobility market. If it were to follow in the footsteps of the other luxury European manufacturers, odds are good that we'll see an electric bike with a performance-oriented road bike, gravel bike or mountain bike. Perhaps the Swedish manufacturer will also produce commuter bikes with a city focus and folding bikes. In the past, Polestar has dabbled in several electric two-wheeler projects. The most prominent of these is a collaboration with another Swedish electric motorbike manufacturer, Cake. A limited edition Mecca electric scooter and a matching bike carrier for Polestar's electric automobile were previously unveiled by Porsche and Cake. Maybe the future e-bike from Polestar and Alibike will be similar, but hopefully with more design input from the Swedish automaker. All we can do right now though is to continue checking back for new information. That the corporation is experimenting with a new EV market is not shocking. After all, Polestar is among the EV companies with the highest growth this year. 50,000 vehicles are expected to be produced by Polestar by 2022 after its facility reopens following a disruption brought on by the COVID epidemic in China, according to CNBC. After the announcement, the price of Polestar stock increased by nearly 3% in pre-market trading. Manufacturers of electric vehicles like Polestar have recognized a market opportunity in the e-mobility sector. It is a logical step for the EV company to broaden its offerings with the support of battery technology and production expertise. The inaugural relationship between the two produced a premium pedal mountain bike with progressive geometry, pedal efficiency, and bespoke all-in stampers. Polestar has yet to reveal more information about the Alliance and anticipated e-bikes. This time, the Alliance will concentrate on electric vehicles, which are Polestar's area of expertise. The Polestar would imitate businesses like Harley-Davidson that construct their two-wheelers from the ground up, according to Electrek. Legend has it that Harley-Davidson spent years perfecting its well-liked electric bike, but which later grew into a standalone e-bike company named the Serial One. Polestar has previously collaborated with other parties to finish a variety of two-wheeler projects. In partnership with Swedish electric motorcycle manufacturer Cake, it introduced a limited-edition Mecca electric bike last year that can be charged while being towed behind a Polestar electric vehicle. That time, Cake took care of everything by giving the collaboration an almost finished electric mop design. With that, the video has come to an end. Let us know what you think in the comments section to help us expand our community and attract more people who share our interests and are eager to learn. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you thought the video was interesting. Till then, bye.